Hey everyone, and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. We have one of our Fit Club members, the lovely Shelly Karpiak. Shelly has been an educational assistant for 16 years and adores it. She enjoys board games, hiking, and trying new wines. And although she loves trying new things, she is reluctant to try them at times. Shelly has a beautiful family of five and loves taking pictures of everything, especially because it drives them crazy. And this is only part of her list of interests and achievements. As part of her interest, she also loves to cook, and we are making bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers, New Orleans style barbecue shrimp, and a non alcoholic punch. Today, we are fortunate to have such a lively and energetic individual in our kitchen. Everyone, please welcome Shelly Karpiak. <laughs> Hello, thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen. I'm so excited for today. Okay, we'll get started. Okay, so we're making the jalapeno poppers, right? We are going to start with the bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. Okay. okay. I've never actually made these before, so. Um... They're super, super, super easy. Uh, so, actually, the one thing we forgot was a cutting board. Oh, a cutting board, okay. Let's get a big cutting board. So I don't know about you, Shelly, but I love okay, making right appetizers. I love appetizers. I know you <laughs> Absolutely do. Absolutely love you. appetizers. <laughs> I prefer baking, uh, making meals and appetizers much more than baking. You know what? I agree because it's fun, right? You get to work on every little piece and you know it's for a lot of people, right? And it's fun to enjoy little bite-sized things. What are these for? This is so that after we're done, we can just get rid of it and not have to worry about touching our face oh, or, yes. oh, right. or putting your finger in your mouth. Oh, and yeah, touching your eyes. So, yeah. That actually so, happened to me before <laughs> because I remember making nachos for RJ mm -hmm. and I was using a real jalapeno popper and I swear I washed my hands like crazy. Yes. So I rubbed my hands. It just before. gets into the skin. It does. And, but yeah. I rubbed my hands really well, but I rubbed my eyes and then I was like, yeah. I had a it towel burns over my yeah. forever. Yeah. Yeah. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to take a knife mm -hmm. and we're just going to cut the ends off mm -hmm. and we can get rid of those. Okay. Then we will just slice it in half. Get a garbage bowl here. And then um, sometimes I just use a, a small spoon or this works as well where you just take all the guts out. Okay. Because um, that's where all the heat is. In the oh seeds. yeah, the seeds are. If you like that little bit of um, heat, some people think these are these peppers are not hot at all. Um, I find them just right. I find them right, but yeah. I don't want them spicier. Yeah. So then we're just gonna. So sometimes I even just take my. Yeah, that's easier. Thumb. It just depends. Some sometimes it's easier than others. So where are we just? However, however many you want, I think. Oh, you we're cut it right do... down the middle yep. in half. Okay. Right down the middle. Oh my gosh, these gloves are just so big. <laughs> if... Hi, Shelly. Hi, Jane. Well, hello. Thanks for hello. tuning in. Oh, Kelly. Oh, hi, Kelly. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> okay. And this is fun also to make for New Year's, right? Oh, I know yes. you love New Year's. Yes, yes. And what are you doing for New Year's this, this year? Well, we've actually been talking, a group of us, from mm -hmm. the gym. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're possibly going to order food. Mm. And uh, um, I can't. Kelly's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, from where, Shelly? <laughs> yeah. Um, Kelly's Restaurant. Oh, Pampanga. Yeah. Okay. Nice. We've been ta I talked with her. Okay. So um, I have a hard time saying it. Oh, say it. Pampanga. Pampanga? Yeah. Like yeah. It's so American. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> I was I was at uh, Pampanga um, two weeks ago. Yeah, so she's she's gonna call me tomorrow and we're gonna try and get something organized. And then whoever wants to do a Zoom call for New Year's Eve, we're gonna all get together and eat and exactly the 10 a.m. workout, right? Right. We're doing another marathon, not everybody. Oh boy. What time what time is your marathon? 10 or 10. You know, I burned a lot of calories after that workout. I couldn't believe it because I was like, 
you know, I, I burnt 300 after that one hour, but I right. just kept on burning and burning throughout the day. Yes. I, I burnt like 2,400 at the end of the day. I couldn't believe it. Okay. So if there's one, there's a couple here that got some seeds in them. I'm just forewarning that oh, if you leave that the was, seeds that was in, me. I was pretty sloppy. somebody will be, whoa, you that was way too hot. I don't like them. But they, but they actually, it's the gloves I'm telling you. I know. <laughs> I find that um, the ones that you can get all the seeds out are perfect. They right? actually go sweet, oh, really? I find. After, at least after you have one. Mm -hmm. Like if you have one, your palate will kind of get used to it. Oh, yeah. And then uh, after that, they're good. I am just quickly going to throw this one okay. in the oven. What is that, Chef? This is actually the next one okay. yeah. that we're going to do. The magic of TV, We just right? got it ready so that it would be definitely cooked. And then I'm going to... Maybe I'll get you to just set the timer for first. Uh, I don't know how to use that okay. oven. <laughs> so how I think it's probably a kitchen right. timer okay. set. Right. I'm going to put it for 30. Yeah. <laughs> did it work? I shut it off, actually. Yeah, you did. Start. Okay. 30. There you go. And then start. Oh, there. No, is that timer working? I think it, it goes down. It says press timer to start. Oh, so well, press. Timer. Uh, timer. Timer. Where's the timer? See, I told you I don't know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I never use a timer. Um, is there a timer okay. button here? And the one online. Uh, hey, how do <laughs> this is a KitchenAid uh, oven that we don't know how to use a timer. Is it start? You press start? There. Okay, if you guys know how to work this, please message. We need assistance. Just leave it at that. Yeah. It says press timer to start. Can you, can you just press the start button here? Okay, press timer. Start timer at 30, yeah. And then press, why don't you press start? Oh, for crying we out loud. We know how long. Okay, <laughs> okay. so what time is it now? It is, let's say, 4.30, so around 5. There. Okay. <laughs> Three people Funny. don't even know. <laughs> it's one button. That's it's all it is. It There's is, yeah. One step we're missing. Okay, so while... Uh, so now you're going to take the... We can take the cream cheese. Yeah. And I just... Um, it's nothing fancy. Like, this is just... You can whip these up in no time at all. All it is is... Um, now, now I would take my gloves off myself. Okay. So now, and I'm actually just going to, it's easier if it's just like this. Okay. And you just take this like this, and you're just going to do this. It's very, I do it. The, you know, if you probably read a cookbook, they would tell you this hard, crazy way to do it, but... Just spoon it on. This is how I like to do okay. it. Okay. And then do we put it on this dish? And then we're going to put it in that dish, but we're going to... Um, oh, right. So you put the uh, cream cheese into the uh, jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Now, the easiest way that I find to get the bacon ready mm -hmm. is I just use a pair of scissors. And you can use a whole strip of bacon if you like. Mm-hmm. I just, uh, I prefer, usually if I'm doing it just at home, I would do half. Okay. And I just stretch it and wrap it around. Let's do that then. But the easiest, the best is if you have about three quarters. So I just take scissors and I just actually cut right through it. Then open. So I've cut a quarter of it off. And then. Is this enough cream cheese? Um, you could just put a little bit more oh. at the end there. It's okay. not, it's not like I never worry about it. I okay. just, because everyone will love them no matter what. Mm -hmm. Anything that has bacon, I find. Oh, yeah. And then I just, I actually start at the one end, the narrower end, and then I just wrap it around. 
keep try and keep the bacon flat and try and get it all around and have it end at the back. That's just the easiest. Okay. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know is it is hard. Kinda... You know, no, actually, it's not I wasn't, hard. I, wasn't watching. Look, okay. I just go like this. Okay. Lay it on top. Yeah. And then I switch hands and then just wrap it and pull it and wrap it around. Okay. And it's you can't you can't mess it up, Neri. Okay. Okay, Jerome. Here, <laughs> do you wanna? Let's see. I'll do this. Okay. I I want a dainty popper. Okay. It's a smaller one, not a big one. Let me fill this one up, and then you'll you can see me wrap it. Yeah. And that's it. So if someone doesn't I'm like smart. jalapenos, for example, mm. can you use something else? Or you can't really substitute it? I don't know. I think that's the whole the part whole... of it, right? Because you get right? the cream cheese, which kind of adds a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. And then you add the bacon for mm -hmm. people who love bacon. And then uh, the for people who want that spice, Perfect. you've got the, yeah. So... I don't know. Like I'm, sh you could probably try it with regular peppers, but should I grease the the pan or it'll be okay it'll because be okay. Um, the only reason that I would maybe spray it is mm -hmm. for ease of cleaning after. Okay. Oh, that's I fun. have tried um, tin foil parchment on, paper. Um, I've never done it with parchment paper, but I have done with uh, with the. Uh, uh, tin foil, but everything seems to stick to tin foil anyway. Yes. So I just, um, you could spray it if you, for ease of cleaning. Yeah. 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 That's perfect. That's, just like that. Oh, just like this? nothing fancy. Just boom. Fill it up and. Fill it up. Yeah. Okay. There. So I guess it's best to work with softened cream cheese, almost right. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. This is just actually probably perfect because it, and then I find that if you use the the ends of it to just help it get in there. Okay. I've done this many times. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my first this time. Is my, a lot of my friends, this is what they ask for. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Hello, Mark. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. And Jane. And Jane? Jane? Hi, Jane. You know what? Hello. Jane always tunes in. Like Aww. every, she never misses a week, always. She always says, hi, Neri. Hi. <laughs> she really does. <laughs> so I know she's watching. <laughs> Heather Sinclair. Oh, hi, oh. Heather Sinclair. Hi, Heather. Oh. I saw Heather at workout this morning. Oh, did you? Oh, Zumba. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people on Strong this morning. There was. There's like 50 I looked, people. I think it was 51, I oh, believe. Oh, 51? Was it 51? Oh, 51, 51. Yeah, yeah. 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 Then we got like 8 or 10 Facebook. Nice. We have to get those people on Zoom. Mm-hmm. RJ was on Zoom. Oh, and you know what? It was uh, Jen King's and Kathy Bodie's 800 workouts. Yes, and Dave, and Dave Barr. Barr, 300 workouts. That's wow, amazing. these the uh, milestones are coming fast and yes. furious. Well, what are you at, Shelly? You're. I am. I should be at 1600. Mm, not next week. The next, the week after. 1600. 1600. Oh my God. Yeah. How are we going to catch up? <laughs> I know. I only have like not even 50 workouts. I'd hey, have to take a couple though. years off. <laughs> 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 Which I don't think at my age will happen. <laughs> it's harder to get going. <laughs> You're 50, right? Yeah. Well, I'm, but you don't, yeah. you don't even look 50, I'm, honestly. I'm elevated to that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't feel it. So I don't feel yet. I don't feel it. Well, age is just a number. I'm thankful for that. Okay, so, oh, I guess I should probably you start, should start wrapping. I was just busy filling my <laughs> popper and I wasn't even wrapping. Yeah, okay. that's what I like. You just, it, it's nothing fancy. Nothing it's fancy. not fancy. It's easy and fast and people think. I actually have another appetizer that is incredible that, um, a lot of people ask me to bring as well. What's and that? when I tell them what it is, that what it's 
kubasa and brown sugar. Kubasa and brown sugar? And you put it in a slow cooker and cook it for about an hour and a half. Kubasa and brown sugar. Yes. Really? So and how do you cut it then? So I, I, I got it from a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried it mm -hmm. and was like, what is this recipe? I have to know it. Mm -hmm. And that when they told me that, I could not believe it. That it was just those two ingredients. That's so simple. Yes. And it tastes like there's all these different kinds of spices added to it. and But it isn't. So it's very yummy. It just seems like it's been cooked forever in these certain spices and... But it's not. You can and smell our my other one. Can you smell it now? Um, in the oven? You know, I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> so I can't smell it. I can smell I know what the smell is, so it's so oh. This is a big one. Throw me. You'll have this one maybe. Yes. Do you like spice? Uh, I like or I find that I my taste buds need that um, little bit of a kick. You know, I, I used to like spice, mm -hmm. and then I stopped having spice because, you know, when you're a mom, you share your food, right? Yes. So then my kid, Jet, specifically doesn't like spice, so I oh. stop eating spice. Yeah. So then I have spice when I'm not sharing my food with him. Mm -hmm. But even then, I'm like, oh, it's getting spicy again. Yeah. So I have to, like, I like it, but it, I have to get used to it. Okay. And uh, so do you have to cook this on a single layer, Shelly? Yes. Yes? Okay. So we will try and, oh. um, I wonder if I did these this way, maybe I'd get more this way. Uh, yeah, we'll get a couple couple more yeah um go this way okay i'll see if i can stretch some of this bacon to get it on here all right so that is basically it we just put them in the oven for for how long um we're gonna look at oh, oh, just watch it i usually mm -hmm. put it in for about 30 minutes okay at the at about the three 350 again I just like there's no re there's no real recipe like I think I made it once with the recipe and then now I just like you're cooking bacon right exactly so you just want to make Whenever sure the bacon's done it's better if it's a little um a little harder rather than so we'll just put this back here the bacon's better obviously it's if it's a little crispy then right. it's good you don't want it um uh, not cooked, that's for sure. So can I pop these in right now? They can go right okay. now, for sure. 30 minutes, so it's 4.39 now. <laughs> okay, Shelly, now I can smell it. Yeah. Okay, so okay. let's move this to the side. So while that one's cooking, we'll, we'll start the other one. Okay, so our next one, we're making shrimp. We're making New Orleans-style barbecue shrimp. Okay, perfect. But the trick is it's not in the barbecue. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You're not doing anything with the barbecue. Oh, okay. So I have my recipe here. Okay, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, get rid of the seeds. Okay. So what's the first thing? So the first thing, we're going to take the pan. Okay. And we are going to add the butter. And how much butter? One pound. One pound of butter. You're not eating the one pound. You're not, you probably won't even eat a couple tables. You may have a couple tablespoons, but that's You know, that's butter it. makes it good. You can't substitute yeah. it. Let's just say yeah. that. <laughs> so how high should I put the butter in? Um, put it about half. About like halfway? Yeah, because we want to make sure, like, we want it to melt. Pretty. We want the whole butter to melt and heat up and then add all our ingredients. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna add a cup of olive oil. Okay. Um, you know, I'm just gonna cut this in half. Yeah. There we go. And then Shelly, I'll get you to add the olive oil. Okay. While I get rid of this cutting board. Uh, I said one cup. One cup of olive oil. Okay. 
Where did you learn this recipe from, Shelly? This recipe I got from my brother-in-law. He loves to cook. Mm -hmm. He's a really good cook. And uh, so we just share recipes. So that is in there. So we're just letting this, uh, it's already starting to, to melt. Okay. I'm just going to put this here. Sure. So now the fun part starts. This is the, this is I think pretty much every spice in your kitchen. Okay, so Shelly brought all of her spices to the kitchen. <laughs> Look at all of this. <laughs> That's all going in. <laughs> okay. So then the first thing we're going to put is four teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Four teaspoons? Yes. That's a lot. And I find that I, depends, like this is the thing I like about the appetizers is that you can just throw stuff in. Now, do I wait for it to melt first or just, no, you okay. can put it in. So oh, I man. would, <laughs> like sometimes it depends what you feel like and who you're having over and if they like spice or not. Now, we're going to be putting in Tabasco sauce, so I would put four teaspoons. Okay. Yeah. Four teaspoons. So the next thing we're going to put in is salt. Okay, and how and much I, salt? Uh, that one we're going to put two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Oh, my goodness. I need new measuring spoons. <laughs> you know, I saw on Pampered Chef, um, oh, my gosh, they had these narrow ones mm -hmm. where you could actually... Um, Put your teaspoons in here right okay that way it doesn't make such a big mess because these are like all circular ones yeah okay that's good this is three. Oh my yeah. goodness and then one more sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure you guys know the struggle really is real <laughs> okay perfect there and i just i did not bring the salt and pepper okay so i have salt so we need there. two teaspoons of salt and which we'll just use this one. Sure. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. It's perfect. And then pepper is here too. Uh, should be there. This one. It should be in a bag, I think. Okay, I think that is chili powder. I see the cloves. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I I'll look for the black pepper, okay. Shelly. And we can add that in at the end. That's not oh, a big deal. Pepper. And there's four teaspoons of that. Oh, four teaspoons. Yeah. So this is really flavorful. <laughs> it is. That's it. I think that's what it. Like, it really adds flavor to the shrimp, and uh, you're just not eating butter. Okay. Okay. Now we've got two teaspoons of ground thyme. Ground thyme. Let's. Oh, there okay. We go. Yeah. Two teaspoons. And you can just, I usually just um, screw it right off. Oh, okay. Yeah, unscrew it. It's just easier. One and two. And then one teaspoon. The recipe asks for ground oregano, but I have just graduated to just doing not ground. I, I didn't like know it. that it was ground. I thought it was just always mm -hmm. leaves. Yeah, so I, a lot. One of, teaspoon? Uh, one teaspoon, okay. yes. And then one teaspoon of basil. Same thing. It asks for ground. I just put whatever I have. Exactly. And I, I actually like, I prefer it with the leaves rather than ground. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Uh, two That's teaspoons right. paprika. Two, uh, paprika. Okay. Two teaspoons. Oh, my nose is getting itchy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's try it this way. Yeah, you'll be okay. It does, it, this is the thing. If you put a little bit more, it's not a, it's not a big thing. Mm -hmm. Good. There. Okay, next we are doing six teaspoons of crushed garlic. So I already just kind of <laughs> measured, out the, <laughs> measured out the garlic. I'm so going to wash my hands. I just put it in there. I don't like my garlic press, but... Um, and I just need a knife. Oh, a knife? Okay. Yeah. There's knives over here. Oh, perfect. Okay. You know I do? I always just buy the chopped garlic already. Because sometimes I don't have time to always chop Costco the garlic. Costco has a really nice container with That's it where I get it from, cut, actually, the Costco. I, um, I don't know. I just, and then I think, um, yeah, I don't like mine. 
Have you been to Costco lately? I have not. Well, when RJ and I were there maybe about three weeks ago, it actually was quite pleasant. That's there. what I'm hearing is a lot of people aren't having a struggle when they no, go. No, not at all. There's no lineups. I just, um, um They were so know. fast. I just haven't. I find um, some of the times more recently um, that I don't need all the big items like I don't I have my things that I like to buy like peanut butter I buy there and toilet paper and but I find that I just end up buying stuff that I don't really need Shelly say hi to Tannis oh hi Tannis hi Tannis Raymond Reyes is watching as well oh Raymond Sherry, Sherry, Miss you, Raymond. Sherry hello she worked out this morning. It was nice to see her face. You know, I haven't seen Sherry in a while. Mm -hmm. We have a, we've been doing a Friday night. Oh, Friday night Zoom? Zoom with um, a lot of our, like, I don't know if a lot of our members, but a lot of us friend members. Mm -hmm. And it's been a lot of fun. Oh, I, I, you know, I see the pictures. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. It's the new normal now. Yes. I think I'm going to stop there. You can stop there? Okay. Yeah. Those were pretty big. Okay. And this is just the sauce for This the is just the sauce for the shrimp. Yes. Okay. And number five is still good? Or do you want it higher? No. It yeah. We'll put it just uh, maybe... Six? Yeah. We'll try there. nine. Just so, it, uh, just so it gets just a tad of uh, bubbly. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm just going to stir this. Yeah. This is a lot of butter. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the now we're gonna add two teaspoons of rosemary. Oh, two and teaspoons. And the rosemary, I especially like it that it's not ground. Oh, I love rosemary. Okay, one, and then two. And now four teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. This is a lot of ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you said four teaspoons or tablespoons? Mm -hmm. Four teaspoons. Okay. Um, just had it. You just twist. Okay. We'll yeah. do it this way. That's it. One, two, and then three, and four. Mm -hmm. And then the Tabasco, I usually just, I don't even measure it. I just, okay, then you can. <laughs> I just take the lid off and I'll just go like one, two. So a couple dashes. Just a couple, yeah. Yeah, just a little kick. Shelly, say hi to Janelle Ducharme. We have Candy watching hi. as well. Hi, hello. Randy Kahooch hi. says, only six cloves of garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, <six>. yes. <laughs> I would have did seven for you. <laughs> uh, now we're going to put in a... Uh, one of the ingredients that you can add that I don't add is liquid smoke. I have actually never tried it with liquid smoke, so I can't say whether it's good or not. I just have never chosen to to add it. I think okay. that's probably where you get that barbecue. It has that smoky taste. It yeah. doesn't really have a, a flavor, but it just tastes like smoke. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not a sm like I don't like that flavor. Oh, I don't, you don't? No. Oh, okay. That so turns. I just don't add it. So now okay. we've got a teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay, teaspoon of lemon juice. We've used like every spice <laughs> ever, I think. And we have two left. Oh, two. Oh, yeah, that's good. One more. Looks good. That's good. And then we're going to add three bay leaves. Three bay leaves. Mm -hmm. oh. We might have to take the whole thing off to get them out. Oh, the whole thing out? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's not my container. I'm not no, used no, to I doing know. this. There, there we go. And just okay. Any three doesn't One, matter. Two, three. So I heard that um, bay leaves don't actually add any flavor. Is that true? I have no idea. I heard it, it's a tenderizer, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I I have no idea actually. That's a very good thought. Oh, so this is bubbling. Is this temperature good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. We're gonna turn it down now. Turn it down. Just okay. Oh, 
Oh, there. I'm mean, put it there. Oh, That's good. Five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now the last thing we're gonna add is um, we're gonna do half of half a cup of uh, dried parsley mm -hmm. and then half a cup of fresh. Oh, this is quite a bit of parsley. Yeah. Half, half a cup. Or sorry, a quarter of a cup. Oh, okay. It's a half a cup uh, in total. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. And then we'll just do the. This whole and day? I've already cut it. I cut it up. Already. Okay, so yeah. Shelly saved time for us and she yeah. cut this up. So uh, just put the whole thing? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. And now you're going to stir that up. Okay. And into that, we're going to add the shrimp that we. Uh, so we have this shrimp. Oh, I can just smell it, Shelly. Mm -hmm. So this is the shrimp. So in this case, I bought two sizes. I prefer the size in between these two. So, oh, you just turned it off. <laughs> oh, sorry. So you can, um, it's it's really just a personal choice w which size you want to use. Okay. So you can see, try whatever, it. whatever you can find in the store. Yeah, basically is what it is. So I have, um, I have take. I like buying it without the tails on. Melinda it's says much hi. easier. Hi, Melinda. And then Tracy says the bay leaf definitely adds flavor. Jane says it does add flavor. Just don't eat it. <laughs> oh, good. Good to know. Yeah. Hi, Marilia. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, hi, so Sandy. Now what I'm going to do is just stir it around a bit. And then I am going to add the shrimp. Oops. I didn't mean for that to happen. How much shrimp is this? Is this two pounds? You know, um... One of the bags, uh, no, it's about a pound. Uh, this will be about almost two pounds. Almost two pounds, okay. Yeah, uh, so two yeah. pounds of shrimp. Maybe two and a quarter. Um, it's what, however many, like however many people you're gonna have over. This is almost. So just under two bags of shrimp, really. Yeah. Sometimes I only do one. Like if you're only gonna have, I do everything else the same, but the shrimp amount I would just put to how many people that I have over. Hi, Colleen. Thanks for watching. OK. So we're just going to give this a little stir. And then we should have our dish ready to go that we're going to put it in and then put it into the oven. OK. And what kind of dish do we use for this? Um, we are going to put this, what did we decide? We were going to put it in the, uh, <laughs> in the, we were going to put it in that one. Oh, yeah. This one? And okay. we were just going to put some, we'll put some tin foil. Okay. And then we'll just, uh, yeah. Thanks to Rome for stirring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So the after, part of the show. <laughs> after you've done this, this is when you're going to put it in, um, a uh, just a dish that you can put in the oven and then after you can have it for serving. Okay. So the dish that I brought, that because I, I already made one, and just because it takes about 40 minutes. It takes 40 minutes to bake? About 40 minutes. So really? So I put one in the oven already and it should be ready in, in about 10, 10, 15 minutes. You're just really cooking the shrimp and making sure that the all the uh, spices go into the into the shrimp. So Shelly, Mark is asking, you can cook, you can use chicken feet? <laughs> what? This, this chicken is, feet? This is a joke. No, you oh, cannot okay. use I was chicken like, feet. You can't use chicken feet. <laughs> Maybe if your name's Betty, you could use chicken feet. Oh, Betty Froze? Betty would probably like to add chicken feet. Betty, to this. are you watching? Let us know. Do you like chicken feet? <laughs> she loves chicken feet. And we all found this out last night. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So the things you find out now. <laughs> but you know, a lot of people do like chicken feet. My mom eats chicken feet too. Yeah. Not a lot, but like she eats it. I've never actually tried it though. Never ever. I just don't understand it <laughs> i don't you know, know it's what, food it's yeah. food right so yeah. i get it but i'm more of a you know well and it's... that's where i'm not an, a very adventurous person oh, okay. is food i actually just tried oysters 
um, last year with Mark and Sonia. Okay. They were ordering it, so they offered. Yeah. And so I tried it. Wait, was it cooked or raw? Raw. Raw, yeah. 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 As, and I just, awesome. like, I never had any desire never to try it. it. But um, they kind of peer pressured me into mm -hmm. trying it. So I tried it. And it tastes like the sea, right? There's not, you don't taste anything. Like, it just slides. So down. it's like a big slime. Big slime, slime um, nugget, nugget <laughs> that you just swallow, and then yeah. you say it's delicious. Right. Okay, but is it really delicious though? Well, Mark's telling us that it's what you put on it. Yeah, yeah but you don't really so, chew it; you just no, swallow it. You just okay, swallow Mark. It. <laughs> Mark, how did you serve the oysters to Shelly? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take this, and okay. I'm gonna get you to take the spoon, okay. and I'll pour all start pouring and you can make sure everything makes it out nary okay because there's going to be lots of spices in the bottom so this is a two-person job you guys one person pours the other person yeah, scrapes so then i kind of just like move it around to make sure that all the spices aren't just all in one spot okay and then yeah you're gonna do that that's perfect and then yeah just make sure it's kind of all flat uh, I think it's flat. Yep, looks good. Okay. Yeah, and then you're just gonna put that in the oven for about 40 minutes. 40 like minutes. I would put 30 and then look at it. Mm -hmm. Should I put it in now? Yeah, we can okay. put it Shall in. Okay, I'll get you to put it in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It is leaking a little bit on the side, but okay, we might have to turn it up a bit because it looks like. Turn it up? Yeah, we'll turn it up. This one's starting, but yeah, well. Okay, so what, just turn it up uh, to 70, 375. Okay, let's do 380 just to make it. Just because we want it to um, heat up fast. And oh, with the okay. bacon and that, like nothing's gonna get wrecked by just putting it up, trying to force cook it. Okay, so. We have one more. The last thing that I. Um, saw this and I thought it was it was uh, really pretty um, is just a, a type of punch that's just ginger ale um, you can use cranberry juice there's so many things that you can use mm -hmm. um, I'm I just bought this pink um, it's light and refreshing and I'm not really a lover of cranberry juice mm -hmm. like i don't mind it every once in a while but it's not something that i would buy and have in my house all the time mm -hmm. so i wanted to try this one okay um it's with pink white and red uh cranberries, cranberries. so it, it'll just kind of maybe give it a pink uh tinge and then i make homemade apple juice i was just gonna say what is so this it's not urine <laughs> <laughs> I gave, I gave it, I think it was Randy. I think I gave it to Randy and he was like, oh, just what I wanted, a bottle of urine. <laughs> Randy, of course. So um, it's actually homemade apple juice. And well, how do you make homemade apple juice? You take your, it's the easiest, uh, it's not even, I hate to even say it's a recipe, but it's, it, uh, it is because to make it, you need uh, directions on how to make it. But you just take your apples mm -hmm. and I cut them in quarters. You can leave, you, the leaves can be on the stems. Like it doesn't even really matter. Mm -hmm. So you just cut them in quarters and you put them in a five gallon pail. Mm -hmm. Just cut, cut, cut until your pail's full. Then you add a little bit of cream of tartar on the top. Oh, really? Okay. And then uh, boiling hot water until all the apples are under the water. Mm -hmm. And then you leave it for 24 hours mm -hmm. and then strain it out after and that's basically your apple juice you strain it put it in a pot yeah and cook it and add i think it's like very minimal sugar okay like, that's why i like it okay. because i like apple juice but mm -hmm. i don't like all the sugar okay so i make it and uh just add minimal i think it's honestly i think it might be four tablespoons and is it worth it to make it yourself Oh, it's so, it's no work at all. My friend and I sit outside, enjoy company, cut up. Like we made, I don't know how many jars we made, like 30, 30 something apples so for jars. And for this, then how many apples would, would it take to make that much? Well, a five gallon pail makes about 12 jars, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah. 
you add a bit of water and mm. you add sugar mm. and but the sugar is like I think it's like four teaspoons it's like four tablespoons it's hardly anything compared to how much you end up with right right so so all I'm gonna do is add the ginger ale and how much ginger ale? You know, I just kind of... Eyeball it? Yeah. Like, I, you know, I think if you did, like, what I usually would do is, like, maybe a cup of this, a half a cup of that, and a half a cup of that. Okay. So... Do you need a, a cup? I'm going to just wing it. Wing it? Okay. Yep. Those are sometimes the best punches, is just a few... And sometimes it's good just not to use a measuring cup all the time, right? Mm-hmm. That's why I prefer... <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Just baking it. or baking is not my thing because if you make one small mistake, mm -hmm. then then it uh, doesn't turn out exactly. You know, I heard ginger ale is really good for your throat. I love ginger ale, just for a change. Oh, I hear music outside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> RJ shoveling, I think. Is he shoveling? <laughs> shoveling and listening shoveling to Shoveling and listening to music. He's and I just, I don't normally day. put apple juice in, but I just saw this recipe that had apple juice added. So I'm just going to add that. We have Blessing watching. Hi, Blessing. Morris Hinoch. Shannon Schellenberg. Oh, how nice. Ryan Maxwell. Okay, so then I'm just... Oh, Brian is watching. Brian He's not is watching, watching football. <laughs> <laughs> we have Brian's attention. <laughs> and... Ready? So hopefully... I feel like this is a party now. Yes. It's our complete New Year's Eve party. And there you go. Okay, look how sexy this drink it looks. It does oh look. My it looks like you're having champagne. Mm -hmm. Now, I just hope that I put uh, the right amount of proportions in. and So this is non-alcoholic, but correct. you can obviously add your own oh, alcohol. Yes. So what would work well with this? Oh, probably uh, Prosecco. Prosecco? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's probably what I would add. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm thirsty, so let's have it. <laughs> okay, okay. Here. Cheers. Girls. Okay, you guys, cheers. Cheers. Uh, happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. Mm. I feel like I should be sipping it because, you know, it's in a fancy cup. <laughs> but I could just drink the whole thing. <laughs> I can't mm. even talk. I just, I, lo I love punches. And... Oh, I love this. Delicious. Ooh. No, Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you guys? I actually don't drink. Yeah. It's been it's been like five years, but you know what? I'm still I'm still nursing, which is why I don't right. drink. So, but you could add your own alcohol if you. Oh, for to. sure. Okay, how's our food coming along? Okay, so we are ready to let's have a look. We're gonna need a hot pad for sure. Oh, a for hot sure. Pad? Um, yeah. I don't know if I have a hot. Pad. Or you could like if you have or yeah, that'll work. On top of this and then. Okay. Um, okay, and so what I uh, like to serve it with was I took a baguette mm -hmm. and I just slice slice it, and I, I'm all about hacks and easy and everything easy. So uh, have you ever thought of an easy way to cut a baguette? No. The easiest. Oh, oh I do know. I do know. Okay. You when you take the bread. You turn it upside down and then you start slicing it, right? Okay, but I'm talking even slicing it. Oh, what? What's I the wonder mean? if anyone knows. My my hack is a electric knife. Okay, I don't have that. <laughs> I don't have an electric knife. Uh, we use wires. An electric knife. <laughs> yeah. it, it is incredible how much faster it is. Really? Okay. Yep, just an electric knife. Boom, boom. Fast. Okay. Super, super fast. But so, if you don't have an electric, if you don't knife, have an electric turn knife, turn your baguette <laughs> upside down. It's actually easier because the harder part is, or the hardest part is the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when you're trying to cut with a knife, you get through the top, yeah. and it's the bottom yeah. that's the hard part. So yeah. with the with the um, uh, electric knife, it's serrated and it just cuts through it like butter. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I think. Did you want me to take it out or? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's ready or not. 
Oh, it, if it's bubbling, that's all we need is for it to bubble. And we are at about 35 minutes. So it's you can see it's kind of turned brown on top as well. Mm -hmm. OK. And you want to be very careful. So this is the type of dish that I would usually put it in. It's like a quiche pan. It is, yes. Yeah. Just for presentation. OK. And so then how do you normally Well, serve it? we should probably let it, let it cool, cool down a little bit, but then you're going to get a spoon. I would put a larger spoon, like okay. a tablespoon or or a, um, a little bit bigger, maybe a, a serving spoon kind of. A tablespoon works fine. That's per that's good. Yeah, which, which either one? one of those. Okay, we can use so the only reason I would probably use this one today is just because like some of these, well, the shrimp I bought were the tiny little ones, but so you can just see now they've, now they've cooked, right? Mm -hmm. And they've already, you can tell they've absorbed some of the spices mm -hmm. because they've now changed color. color. Yeah. And I'm sure you could add, if you wanted to add different kinds of seafood, you could as well, but I'm just a, uh, non-adventurous shrimp eater so then you can add lobster to this also you could lobster crab yeah so what i like to do when i take mine is i would take try and get some of the the spices oh from the bottom right yeah so like that okay and then, and then you would just take your bread and put it onto your put it on top Oh, okay. So you could have your little, like I would put out little plates, little plates. and then uh, people would come and uh, help themselves. And but definitely the best, the all the flavor is. So if I just is that bubbling? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I would just do this, and then I would just put it on top, like, oops, on that. And of course, it's not going to go just okay. like that. So cute. OK, I'll just take the spoon. Yeah, this one might be a little bit big, because the, the other yeah. recipe, the shrimp, are a little bit uh, bigger. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's easy to. And so that's why I say, like, you you can take as much of the juice as you want. Mm -hmm. You don't have oh, to take right. any. Don't be scared of the one pound of butter. It's but, really yeah. just the sauce. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll make one for you, Jerome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit big for that one. For these ones. You might want to just let it, it let looks it cool like down it's a little pretty, bit. pretty warm, yeah. Oh, trust me, I've tried some very hot things on the show, <laughs> like really hot. <laughs> One time um, I was making, what was it, um, BCA Jello. Do you remember that, Jerome? Yes. And so I was trying my BCA oh, Jello. Oh, I remember that. And I put it in my mouth, but then I swallowed it, and I was I was actually choking. Oh. But then I was on, I, was, I think I was live, I can't remember, but I was like, trying to talk, but I was like secretly dying inside. Oh yeah, I, was I don't know how you could do that. I don't know what happened. I don't know how, how I was choking over Jello. Oh, okay. Let's try this out. I'm yeah, gonna let's try see this out. Okay. Yeah, you can test it and see. Oh, cheers, you guys, cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers, yeah, they're good. <laughs> Our little New Year's celebration. Mm. 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 I like it. That butter's wow. just coating my throat. I mean, not my throat, my lips. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So good. You know what? It's not spicy at all. I thought it was going to be spicy because you added, what was it, four teaspoons mm -hmm. of cayenne? And the uh, two dashes of Tabasco. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, that's tasty. It's not very, it's it it is. It's very taste. Like, it's so flavorful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can just even dip your bread in, oh, yeah. in the butter. Oh, yeah. People do too. that by the end of the night. Mm hmm I just need my my drink. And there you mm -hmm. go, Shelly. That's filling too. 
a lot of times what people will do is maybe take one piece of bread and five or so shrimp and mm -hmm. then oh i see just eat the shrimp and mm -hmm. no i would eat the bread too i think the bread's part of it part of the experience i think you need to have more jerome I yeah will. i will how is our <laughs> money for my rice yeah <laughs> oh yeah you know what jerome always he always asks for rice <laughs> i actually forgot to make the rice jerome <laughs> okay Well, wow. so do you want to crisp up the top and broil it? Yeah, we could do that. The only, the, like, cooking, everything's fine. Once the bacon's cooked, they're, they're done, right? Mm -hmm. It's just how soft the jalapeno would oh, be. Oh, I see, yeah. You want it? So when you soft? have, um, you know, in the summer, you get a, I think the jalapenos are better. Right. Because they're not as big. Like, mm -hmm. I grow them at my house. And the small ones are the, like, they're so good. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, with everything going on, our produce and that is just not as good as uh, normally, right? Mm -hmm. I find that I buy raspberries and strawberries and stuff, and they only last, like, one or two days. From the in store? The house. Yeah. Yeah. Before they're going bad. Okay, hey, might as well have some more then. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> waiting. Yeah. So once you've done this once, I, if, for me, I can do this recipe in like probably five minutes. Like I you're just like doing it. You're, you're just, if you lined everything up, you mm -hmm. just me measure it and put it in and it's, it's done. And you put it in the oven. You can actually cook it the day, be day before mm -hmm. and then just leave it in the fridge mm -hmm. and then pull it out when you want it. So this one I made yesterday. Oh, okay. I feel like we can even add more shrimp than this because this you was could. two pounds, but I mean, yeah. with all that butter These were there, the small ones though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a, there's like these, this, these ones are even too small. Like it's the size in between. I think it's, um, like they measure them by how many are in the, in the package, I believe. Yeah. I think it's like a 30 and pound. And what or... was the, this was the, which one was this? This was 71 to 90, and I think the ones that I like is about 50. Oh, 51 to 60 count? Yeah, I think yeah. so. So it's just a little bit bigger because they, as they cook, they shrink, right? Mm-hmm. So. That's very tasty. Thank you for making that. We mm -hmm. haven't done an appetizer party one in a while or yeah. ever, I think. We've never done. We've always done, you know, home-cooked meals, very right. big meals. Um, yeah. What did we do for the last few weeks? We did, oh, Rick was here last week. We did vegan food, mm -hmm. which is actually yeah. quite pleasant, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. And then before that, we did pampanga. We did the Filipino pan fit and uh, egg rolls. Mm -hmm. And then before that, what did we do? I think I made did, uh, the, um, another restaurant. Um, was it Koi? <laughs> No, no, we did. I did a Roma Bistro a few weeks ago, but then I think I did some desserts that I make um, in the house. Mm -hmm. My, mm -hmm. They're not healthy, but I mean, I just add protein to it to right. make it feel, to make it healthier. Oh, yes, somewhere. I watched that one, the marshmallow square with yes. the protein. I was yes. trying to get Sheridan to make that. You know what? It's actually really <laughs> yeah. good. I think you made it, and we I've had it, it at the gym. Can was, you tell the No, difference? you can't. And I no. added, I added quite a bit of protein. Only in there. I think if you put them one beside the other, right? Yeah. Then you might be able to. Yeah. But no. Yeah, and I added yeah. vanilla protein powder to yeah. it, and you couldn't even tell. And then I like to add some um, peanuts in there to give it some crunch. Yeah, I liked it with the peanuts. I've never made it with peanuts. Yeah, just so I feel like I'm eating some something yeah. healthier, right? Yeah. Okay. Well. We could probably grab a smaller one. Let's there's a, a couple test. that there's a couple that are probably uh, very close. I'm gonna grab some more. Mm hmm Yeah, it's so funny that they were bugging me last night about the chicken feet. Okay, so tell us the chicken feet story. <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> well, because um, we were just like, you just sit there and talk, like the topics that we come up with are just crazy. This is on Zoom, right? Yes. So 
the t range of topics is incredible. I can't, it, I'm sure that they remember more than me because I'm right on the spot right now of thinking what they were, but mm -hmm. some of them are pretty crazy. Um, so last night, Chicken Feet came up because Betty said that that's something that she just absolutely loves. You know what <laughs> we just, watching? I we, think he likes chicken feet too. I'm pretty sure And he then does. <laughs> we just talked about like how to cook them. And then I told the story about when I was a young girl and going, going to my grandparents and the chickens running around and they like to peck at their feet. Yeah. So I just said I, could, I just couldn't see myself eating them because we would be... Well, grossed it's, out it's feet, by right? I yeah. mean like feet's gross but yeah. I mean it's food and like I said like a lot of Asian people eat chicken mm -hmm. feet but I think there's a certain way on how to cook it because the chicken feet there's bones right, right. are you supposed to debone it or do you eat it as is and just I think grab the Betty meat from... eats it as is oh as is like yeah okay. I think it she cooks it in her soup mm-hmm I tried making bone broth one time with and feet. you had chicken to feet? put chicken feet in it. What? Yeah. So I bought them oh and gosh. yeah. Oh, you bought the chicken feet. I bought the chicken feet and put them in it. Yeah. I am nowhere near when all the chicken killing goes on. I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. That like I, yeah, no, I don't think I could eat if I was involved in all that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just like to have it at my table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jenny King's watching. Hey, Jen. Hi, Jenny. She and Jet get along so well. She yes. was actually Jet's uh, swimming instructor. And she, oh, I don't know if you can see this, but we made, she made this report card for Jet. Yes. I think she shared that with all of us. Did she? she? Yeah. Or yeah. she shared it with me anyways. That, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's so, so she gave awesome. him a report card on oh, yeah. blowing bubbles, going under the water. Yeah, and she's stars. awesome. She is awesome. Propelling your body in water. So we kept this for him yes. so we can compare it to the next time. <laughs> I love, there's so many members that I absolutely love. So many of them are my friends now. Like yeah. we do so many things outside of, um, outside of the gym. Like mm -hmm. I don't. I, I don't really consider it a gym. Like, What's well, more I, than a gym, yeah, right? It's beyond that. It's way more. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I call, I like to call it my sanctuary. Aw. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that when I go there, it's like, yeah, you everything, feel... you just feel better. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was never a morning person ever. Like, I remember one of my friends saying, I cannot believe that you're actually at the gym because they would be getting up for work and I'd be, they'd message me and then I'd be like, oh, I'm just on my way home from the gym. And they could not believe it. Were you doing the five o'clock classes? I was, no, I was doing the six, like I would get up at six, which I work at quarter to nine. Mm -hmm. So I have about two, I would have, uh, have about two hours more sleep if I didn't go at six. Right? Oh, okay. But who needs sleep? So <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of people wake up early anyways, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we're probably, I'm going to move this one sure. over. Um, you can really cook, like I said, you can cook that, the bacon wrapped ones, kind of as long as you want. Mm -hmm. If you want them, the bacon um, crispier, like a, cu a couple of them look like they could be done. It's just hard to, it's hard to tell. Um, they look scrumptious to So me. I would say you can see the color mm -hmm. and this one has kind of yeah. changed. So yeah. that definitely would be one that someone could try for sure. I'll try it. <laughs> the color, yeah, you can see the color is a little, it's a darker green, not so vibrant. Mm -hmm. So there's that one and I would say that one. And those are going to be super Wait, hot. this one? This one here. Oh, this one probably. here? Okay. And then one more. Yeah. And then Jerome. I'd give that one to Jerome. Oh, yeah, the big one to do. Okay. Now, those are going to be very hot. For sure. I'm going to try. Yeah. And is it hot spicy hot? I uh, think it's both. It's going to be hot <laughs> because spicy. we just took them out of the oven. And you're going to just, if you don't mind spice, then you're going to be hoping that you didn't get any seeds left in yours. I'm going to try mine. Careful. <laughs> 
I have no feeling in my tongue anyway. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm so okay. used to it, yeah. You know, I've tried hot food like right out of the oven. Or I've held a uh, plate and Jerome's like, hold it nicely. I'm like, Jerome, it's burning me. Mmm. <laughs> so the first one, I always find when I have one, mm -hmm. it's always a little spicy. Like it, it, and then now you're going to have a little more and then it won't, if you have another one, Mine tastes a little be. bit sweet, like you said, from the cream cheese. That is spicy. Woo. Come on, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> they are a little um, underdone, but uh, like it doesn't really matter. Like it's not. It's not that it's not. Um, I kind of like it crispy. You're not eating anything that's not cooked right? right like it's right. not it's not bad for you mm. it's punch mmm so good see that second mouthful I don't find it as hot mm hmm spicy well thank you Shelly for coming on the show oh you want to try some jerk yeah, still yeah come <laughs> <laughs> well thanks so much for joining thank me thank you in for my having kitchen, me Shelley. it was so it, much fun it was this was so good and i think i might make all of these um mm -hmm. at my next gathering if i Function. ever have one yeah hoping it's uh sooner than later mm -hmm. so thanks Shelley. and the thing you can make as much as you want you can cut this in half you don't have to make all this much mm -hmm. right exactly oh i can we can polish this just like that yeah we've done it where we've made like 10 yeah and yeah all right guys thanks for tuning okay. in and i'll see you next week bye now bye guys